Hey everybody, it's Cara Santa Maria for America's Greatest Makers, here with an intro to Maker Tech. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to introduce you to a piece of tech that barely a decade ago was this rare and mysterious machine. And now you can find it in pretty much any makerspace around. It's also something experts believe could bring about a third industrial revolution. How cool would that be? Of course, I'm talking about the 3D printer. What makes 3D printers such a game changer? Well, only the fact that they bring manufacturing directly into your own home. Think about it. Instead of shipping off every prototype or product idea for someone else to make, now you can do it yourself. Imagine the time and money you can save, especially on those projects that require a lot of trial and error. So what exactly is a 3D printer? Well, it's just what the name implies, a tool used to create three-dimensional objects designed on a computer. You know how paper printers lay down ink in one layer to create an image? Well, 3D printers lay down or cure material in a bunch of layers to create a three-dimensional object. There are lots of types of 3D printers, so let's take a look at a few of the more common ones. The most popular desktop 3D printer is the FDM printer, which stands for Fuse Deposition Modeling. The FDM printer melts down plastic in its printer head, then it lays it down layer by layer with each one fusing to the other as it cools. FDM printers are fairly inexpensive and they can print using a wide variety of material, but we'll get to that in a minute. The next 3D printer we have is the SLA or stereolithography printer, which is the oldest 3D printing method. These use a laser to solidify liquid resin with ultraviolet light. While most other 3D printers print from the bottom and work their way up, SLA printers can print from the top down, and they're usually much faster. While the SLA printer is good for prototyping, it's not ideal for making the same print multiple times, because the material it uses costs a lot more than what an FDM printer uses. Finally, we have the big boy of the bunch, the SLS printer, which stands for Selective Laser Sintering. With this model, a laser is used to solidify material and form a solid shape. The big difference is SLS printers cure a powdered material instead of a liquid. Basically, layers of powder are laid down onto the print bed, and the particles of each layer are cured by a laser. Different printers use different materials, but plastic is the most widely used because it's cost-effective. The two commonly used plastics are acrylonitrile butadiene styrene, or ABS, and polylactic acid, or PLA. These plastics are the easiest to find, but PLA is becoming more popular because it's biodegradable. Go green! There's so much more to learn about 3D printing. Unfortunately, we only have time to scratch the surface. I mean, there are printers out there that are specially made to use materials like aluminum, silver, gold, ceramics, and wood polymer composites. There are even 3D printers that print food using things like pasta dough and chocolate, but those require a different setup. Mmm, that sounds good. I hope you enjoyed this intro to Maker Tech. To learn more, be sure to check out our other Maker Tech videos right here at americasgreatestmakers.com. And a big thanks to my how-to home, Urban Workshop. I'm Cara Santa Maria. What will you make?